great scaling going late. You have a up to a really good point where he can deal a lot of damage. This is behind a bit, but not by much. It's within one CS and each other. Gonna hold steady for both sides. A bit more important for Carl, although. Yeah, no one. He's copying a lot of damage. Still has those stick charges, but Carl's not giving up. Ooh. But he's gonna go down before he gets the kill. Yeah. No yeah. one yeah. understanding. Yeah. A great old time. Meanwhile, the mid lane, no one. Gonna be punished. Carl does eventually get his revenge on the Batrider. Giveaway not allowing it to go underneath his own tier 1 tower. This will allow him to get the farm and XP without giving anything away to the Batrider. And meanwhile, towards the top, he can help to secure some bounty rooms. He's got guns of forever. Immersion, make sure they get the kill and now Zephyr trying to run should make it up but no one he wants to go for a dive behind that T1 and he does get the double great rotation there by no one securing that next power ring here no one comes out Seneco nice rotation now that'll be the fourth kill or rather fifth for the Brinton no one on a dominating spree He's level 7 in comparison to level 6 of Carl. Carl is going to have dog and stuff for now. I think it should be enough damage and they will get a return kill now. Great rotation there from Zephyr to ensure they could get the kill with that first lasso. Carl, he's just going to leave the area now. Carl's scanning. initiated again onto Zephyr. He will die. The witch doctor and they will also get for red. And we talked about this lane, but Iron Tusk, it's ah, quite the sky. Good start, 2 to 8, 1k lead, really basically 3 points. Ah, really ah, 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 this is a big issue. Yeah, yeah, he's in trouble when he gets in again. He's gonna try and run, but a nice little spike there from Semenko is still calm now. Gonna rotate on the sideline and try to get the kill themselves. The line got to immersion, and it looks like he knows he's dead. Real back and forth here for this game one. Very aware that 23 Savage is having a very good time. Gets the Earth Spike out. He didn't get the spring four bomb into the head. Yes. Yes. Never mind. Yes. Forgot about the lion with that instantaneous. Gets hexed. He might just die. Outside the map. Not dream in the last second. Zephyr around with the melody to stun out as well. Dream, he can't get out this one. In fact, his task may not be able to get out of this one. Trying to get something done, but the perma stun out from Karem, and Carl is able to pick up the double. I'm gonna make it very, very hard for Sandra from that wall to feel comfortable. Karem is gonna juke out the shot. And the walrus punch out from the third, but now Carl is around with the sun. He'll make the jump in onto no one, but now Dream joins in a fire back for him. Coming back at this team fight, but Carl is looking way too low, and no one goes down to the IO. So does Zephyr, and now the earth fight there for him to make sure he can't punish, but Whitebot is going to charge in. They've got the task, but they hit the squad buckle. It won't matter though. They get the kill, but now no one. The whole team is going to be well worth it for that. Oh yeah, they need that injection. They know they can't fight right now in T1. So you take what you can get, although they aren't diving. It's a hard kill to go for, Afterlife. He's taking all the Death War damage, but nothing's happening. Now the lasso comes out. No one, he's gonna rotate. Afterlife still alive, just not oh, dying suffer. to the Melodic Zephyr. He's gonna die, even though he tried to TP. It wasn't enough, and now Carl's gonna go down. They just can't kill him. Afterlife, he took the whole Death War duration with the Melodic, and nothing happened. Forever. Forever. He's been relocated on, he's gonna try and run. They might just dive the tier 3 towers now. It looks like they can, oh and they God. will. Forev, he can't even roll away. Just utter <sighs> domination from Monaco Gambit. Smoke immediately. He does have a blink up now. This will be the surprise reveal. I'm not sure if Monaco Gambit saw this. They're going to go mid lane to try and go after no one. It's the big bristle back, but there goes Dream to make sure he stays healed up. Forev going to roll through, trying to get the damage up. But now the snowball saves to delay things. Seneco will be blown up by 23 Savage. But on to Carl instead. There's your Bat Rider dead. Can they do anything off the T1? They've almost got the task and they'll get him, but they've lost White Mon on the SP. On to no one now. 23 Savage going to try and do a bind himself but it's not looking possible he needs to just chain away and t1 will lose that team fight three to two monaco you have to expend the last on the io but even then it's going to be a hard ask for the side of t1 you again 
Savage, he did get the DD rune in time. Carl's Courier just hanging around at the rune spot. I believe was getting vision for Savage, but get taken out. Now no one. Find that Morphling. Perev trying to get himself out. And the rest of T1, they're around this spot lane. They're all just kind of trapped. They have to try and find a way out. Perev, he's going to try and run a distraction play. Nako, Snowball Duke going to be there by immersion. They're just going to follow the rolling thunder. Perev, he'll allow everyone from his team to get out. And it looks like he may just get out himself to boot. Oh, Zephyr? Zephyr's in trouble though. Top lane, he's just going to die. Dream. It's just too much damage though. White One's going to still charge in. I don't think that's going to work out in their favor, however. Look at the damage output from Dream. In fact, we are into the mid lane. They found Forever. The finger's out and Forever's dead. Dream will take another. Oh boy. This is not lining up at all for T1. No one now is just running down White Mon. And he's so and slow. He is very slow with all that nasal goo. He's gonna die mid-charge. A triple kill out for Dream now, right across the map. And at this, this stage, John, T1. On the map, and T1's got well, to step up here. That's all out. He goes straight onto Immersion. They want the Tusk dead. They want to make sure there's no Snowball saves, but he does get into the Snowball. Rev, meanwhile, rolling thunder in the back. They kill off Zanaka. That's 23 Savage. Immersion now. Dropping to the Melodic. The charge in. Whitemon gets another. They're still doing pretty well here, T1, but Whitemon is going to die now. Monaco Gambit looking to turn this one right back around. Rev dropping low. Could not get to the low ground. Now they want Savage. But Savage is going to go for the TP away, and it looks like he is going to be all right. So a two for two trade. It still feels like it did favor Monaco Gambit. Forev, but he is having a really slow game in the Pango. The key is just buying that space out for Savage. You're going to have oh. some issues now. The blink is up. Hot lane. Carl. Zaneko just doing a great job to set up for Dream. And that's one of those things, right, with this Lion. Having the blink up now, you're going to be able to initiate anywhere across the map. And you're always going to have that relocate. But mid lane, they're going to try and initiate now. 23 Savage is charging in with that SB form. Straight onto the IO. But can they burst Dream down? They've got the stuns out. It's a lot of damage, but there's your snowball now. White Mon's already dead. And Savage, he can't survive the damage output. It's way too high. Forever also being jumped. He's going to die. It's a 4 for nothing trade. And they're going high ground. Ground. There is nothing to stop Monaco. But they, they charged the right target there. Dream was isolated for a bit. It's just not enough. They don't have enough to melt through the IO. The heart's up on Dream. So they basically have infinite sustain now. And with a basher up on no one, at least they have some way of maybe stopping the uh, TP plays out. And the Abyssal's not too far off as well. The only recipe left. So if you are hitting all these major spikes, and Gambit can just keep forcing these objectives down. That they can. To the top racks they go. Nice and easy for Monaco Gambit so far. Jump in, Carl. He's going to go for the lasso. Still tethered there onto no one. They just can't kill him. He's just too tanky. He's going to walk away. Savage is going to die in the fire. They're going to lose forever as well. This is just looking like real bad news now for T1. They call it. They have had enough. And Monaco Gambit quite confidently take game number one. Yeah, a really strong performance from Gambit to start off with. T1, I mean, they, they had something there. They had the Spirit Breaker Morphling. They opened up confidently. Ten seconds remaining. Can't really contest this. They're still keeping that Siege Creep alive, but a nice Sonic wave in from Carl to make sure he gets the kill him now. Zephyr moving in with a stun, still immersion showing up, but there's your Earth Spike out. White Mon gets the control, they'll get another. No one unable to help up against three. Still get a bit of harasser. Over in the top lane, meanwhile, no one and immersion just taking the stacks away from that die jungler. Now down a bot lane, rotations are out. Immersion is around. Carl, a great sonic wave, lands on two. Wukong's command, though, committed by Dream to make sure they can't fight back. A great snowball out. Immersion cancelling the TP of Ferev to boot. They'll get one. And now Ferev, he's a sitting duck. He can knock it himself out and he will just die. And to make matters worse for T1, which could go for his Amidas pickup, but, you know, Midas is just Midas. You generally just want to avoid that item at all costs right now. Bot lane, a bit of a team fight breaking out. Dream getting low, but walking away. They've actually caught off Forev. 
onto the north. Now Zephyr being chased by Immersion, but Savage is going to be around to make sure Zephyr does not die. The Roshan. It's as simple as that for Gambit. If the other team doesn't want to fight us, we'll just find an opponent that does. And Roshan is always up for a fight. There you go. By himself. Meanwhile, top lane, Zephyr, he showed on the map, so they're going to go for him immediately on the Alchemist, and Zephyr is much less tanky than, say, the Slark. Necro 3 up as well. A lot of Atos out, Carl going to try and protect Zephyr, but Zephyr is in big, big trouble. Roar out as well, onto Afterlife, here comes Savage, but who do you find? Who do you target? He's going to pounce away from the Wukong's command, but Zephyr was not so lucky. We won down. Earth Spike out, the rat's still dropping, Savage gonna move back in right into the middle of the beast. A big sonic wave out by Carl, but the snowball straight back oh. into the Queen of Pain. They get taken down, the Dark Rift, the taxi, it'll be cancelled, but it won't matter, T1. They got in the way and they got run over. T1, they are forced to back off. And they've gotten a lot from this push. Melee racks down, a pounce from Savage not being able to keep up with a monkey tier 1. Top T3. Well, at least you've got the Quonk, uh, Quomp Axe out now. So you've got something. Pounce in, Savage. Gonna try and buy more time, but oh, all the no. second pounce, it lands onto Afterlife. The Shadow Dance not really gonna get him out either. Sonic Wave committed by Carl, but it's not gonna be enough. Savage is gonna die to the poison attack, and another tip is there by no one. He knew. That'll be the mid racks. Going down once again, Gambit. Just so dominant. T1, they don't seem to have an answer yet. No, that was the Ags. In and out. Getting one hit and moving backwards. Now moving back in onto no one. They just can't commit. Carl, though, he has committed. Sonic Wave in. BKB popped. Raw is there onto the task. But who are we aiming right now? Immersion, he's going to survive. Carl's forced to blink away. And Savage will also pounce out. But nobody goes down. In fact, they're all looking very healthy here on Gambit. And they're going to move right into that bottom rack. In fact, Savage, he's going to try and fight with the Shadow Dance. But he needs a way out. White Mom, meanwhile, going in from the backside with an Earth Spike. But it is not going to help. And they have found Savage. He pounces away again. But Dream is going to be on the chase. Not getting any bashes, though. But regardless of that, they are back into the bottom racks. And this could be Megas. How do you stop this? Sonic Wave again, just not doing enough damage. Shard's oh, gonna be on target. Now they've got the root there and Carl's gone. Mega Creeps up at 27 and a half minutes into this game number two. A bit later than last game, but I don't think Monaco Gambit are gonna mind too much. And here we go again. Green just getting a triple kill in the back, killing off everybody. Savage. I don't know what he can do right now. He tries to pounce. He gets trapped in the tree line. He's not even in the fountain. And now they're going to know about it. Oh, they no. found him in the trees. They're going to kill him off as well. They are diving in the fountain. But the GG's been called. T1. They have had enough. And Monaco Gambit. What else is there to say, John? Just complete domination.